today's video is a bit different. Um, there is a website called Craft World and it's attached or associated with Craft Stash. And um, I think every, well, I think it's about once a week, they ask if someone, um, some people would like to review a certain product. So um, when this came up, I decided that, okay, I'll have a go at that. And this is for the Cosmic Shimmer April Blaze Polish. Um, so I've been sent two pots. They were a little bit delayed in the post. Um, but yeah, they're here now and I've managed to make a project. So you see they're seven gram pots, so not too big. Um, this one is the pink blueberry and this is the sunset orange. Now you should be able to just about see on the label the colours that will come through. So I'll just show you inside the pot. It just looks white and then it's got this sort of glitter to it. Now you see that I've already been working with it. Obviously you do get a, a full pot. Um, but I have been playing with it just seeing what it will do. And that's that one. And then like I say this is the um, orangey one. So just see an orange oh, you can see it better on the lid there where i've been using it as i said i have been having a play with those so i'm going to share that with you next and also my project i've done the first three corners so i've done two in the um pink blueberry and i've done one so far in the sunset orange and i'm just going to do the other one and i thought i would show you how i do that so I'm going to take the sunset orange and a smoothie um, I have used it on other projects but I try and get as many things out of it as I can and I think they can be washed as well so I've got my spatula um, tiny spatula um, and I'm going to take some of the polish onto um, the smoothie and I'm going to sort of pat it down but not um, I don't want to obviously the sponge to completely absorb it so but I'm just because I don't want it's not like a um, um, texture paste so we don't want it I have tried it as a texture paste and I'll show you that in a moment and then I'm just going to obviously blend it like I would just if I was using an ink or anything like that and um, I have worked out that you can over blend it and by that I mean it starts to peel itself up and gather into um, white little balls so um, it's like if you get it on your fingers and you rub it then yeah you get sort of a skin if you like <laughs> and I'm just going to peel that off it should all come together and we have all four corners done now I'm hoping yeah I think you can see the shine on that um, it's a lot more glittery I would say here whereas you've got like a darker color and a um, sort of a tone rather than just the sparkle and obviously I need to put my lid back on this I don't know how quick they will obviously dry it out and I'm going to put that into soapy water along with my stencil. A thin layer will dry quite quickly so I can now rub over that and it's not going anywhere you don't really get any sparkle on your hands either I think that's probably just from how I've obviously been using it. Um, so what I have done I did test it as a paste now this is how it turned out so as you can see there's a bit of sheen there I hope you can see that I can see that here but um, and there is even a slight color tone but you can see really I mean I dried this off with a heat tool but I don't think it would make any difference if it was left to dry naturally I don't think it's going to work like a texture paste would um, whether you could add it to some texture paste I don't know um, maybe I'll try that in a moment but I thought that I would share that with you the really fabulous thing that I have found out um, and I didn't know if it's going to work is you can stamp with it um, 
I don't put it directly onto the stamp though. So I've got the Autumn Treasures stamps from um, Creative Stamping Magazine. I can't remember which issue it is, but it is an old issue. Um, I've taken one of the leaf stamps and I've got my John Next Door media plate. So this is just like a random one. Um, this is the wavy plate, well, wavy plaque, sorry. Yeah, so I'm going to take the um, purple or the pink blueberry, I should say. But it's got like a purple sparkle to it for me. And again, I'm going to take my spatula and I'm going to put some of that onto the media plate. Now I'm not taking it directly to the stamp because this has got some, um, <laughs> how would you explain it, it's got sort of gaps in it so it's obviously going to get all in between there, it's probably going to be an absolute pain to get it out, um, yeah so I just want it to lay on the top so the best way I found to do that was to take some of the paste or the polish I should say and spread it across my media plate like I said I don't want it too thick because I don't want it to fill up those gaps and I'm not really worried about um, how smooth it is and then just take my stamp and it will slip on it I'm not pressing too hard because I don't want loads of the polish to go into the gaps of the stamp. And then, I mean, you get a nice print there. I'm not sure if I could maybe pull that off. And then I'm going to stamp just as normal. Try not to wobble it too much. But, I mean, because of how this is, it doesn't actually look too bad. And then peel off and we have our leaf with some shine and sparkle and I just thought that looked really cool so I'm, I've done it with the um, pink blueberry there and just show you this one before I well, I'm just going to chuck this into the, the um, spatula into the water and the stamp and if I'm very quick, now I don't, I only have a bit of scrap card here and it's not really big enough. Um, you can see I've already tried stamping out. So this is the one I did first, which has come out perfect. And then I just did a second generation, which would be fine as well because they are falling leaves and they're autumn leaves. Um, but I'm just going to see if I can pull that off. And I think it'll probably slip, so I don't think we'll end up with much of a print. But it's always worth experimenting. No, not really. It's just come out as a bit of a messy blob. But this is how we find out about stuff, is just to give it a go. But yeah, I'm very pleased with the um, with the leaves on there. That's great. So I'm going to do some more of those in um, other colours, or the two colours that I have. I'm using them on the black cardstock because I've tried them on others and um, the white, you do get a sparkle but you can't really see it, you can only see it if you hold it in the white light which is fine if you're going for that because that would look nice. I've also tried them on the car craft card and I, oh you can just about see it I hope. So I've got my sunset orange over here and my pink blueberry over there. But again, it's only if you hold it in the right light. I mean, there you go, you can't see it. So, not so good on that. Um, I tried it on corrugated card. And um, that, yeah, that was just a no-go really. Again, it was a bit like the craft card, you just get a sparkle. I did print, um, paint the corrugated card. And you can see that we've got a sparkle on the ridges there. So that's the thing, you can pick it up on texture which is nice so it'd probably work really well with embossing folders and I might try that in a moment as well what I have done is cut out that spare leaf from um, my attempt earlier 
I've got some packaging here and I've taken off one of the layers um, so we have like three layers to this and um, obviously by taking one of the layers off it's left me with this textured um, corrugated card really and I have um, painted that with some acrylic paints obviously cut into the shape of a tag I've just added some autumn colours and now I'm going to add some of the polish over the top of those paints both the sunset orange and the pink blueberry I'm going to add some of the polish over the tag and I'm going to get some out of the pot with my um, spatula and put it onto the acetate and then I'm going to brush it on just using an old brush um, yeah so nothing special just one that I sort of use for pouncing into things rather than painting with you'll see the technique in a moment so I'm just pouncing, pouncing that into the polish and then I'm just sort of dragging it over thing almost like you do with dry brushing so there's not really any massive amount of colour or um, because obviously the polish is actually white itself so I'm trying to spread that out as much as possible so you can see all the sparkle in it I'm going to do exactly the same with the other colour um, just a bit on that acetate sheet with my spatula and then just pounce the brush into it again and almost like I say dry brush over those ridges so it's the texture that will pick the colour up um, I don't really want it to go down um, between the grooves um, yeah it's to pick it up and highlight those textured bumps of the corrugated card and I'm quite pleased with that it's come out nice and sparkly and shiny I mean you have to turn it into the right light to see it but it's actually quite nice how it catches the light and just adds something a little bit extra to it next I'm going to add a craft card tag to the top so I've just cut that down um, slightly smaller than my corrugated tag because obviously I want to be able to see the colour around the edge okay so I'm going to make a background on this craft card tag and I'm using distress oxides so this one is rusty hinge I'm using one of the stamps from the um, stamp set that came in the magazine and I'm just randomly stamping them um, and the image of the stamp is not perfect because it's not meant to be and also the um, the ink the distress oxides will help with that I'm using the seedless preserve now and um, if you wonder why I showed a baby um, muzzy up to the camera it's because that's what I clean my stamps with so I thought I'd just share that tip and the next colour is wild honey again just using the same stamp now I decided not to add too many of these because it's quite yellow so yeah I want to try and stay with the more sort of orangey purples um, but obviously with the distress oxides they do dry up um, lighter I was going to use the um, pumpkin, the spice pumpkin um, but I decided not to but I am using the peel paint with that same leaf and then I'm going to dry this layer off before I add another layer so I just do that off camera because obviously heat setting something is quite boring <laughs> next I've taken one of the other different leaf stamps and I am using walnut stain just to give a few brown tones as well I just want to try and make this look as autumnal as possible and that's what I really love about autumn is all the different colours and then I do have a third stamp and I'm going to use that again with the walnut stain there 
now it's not as easy to get a second generation stamp with the um, distress oxide and it is quite nice because I've got those like splattered edges so that I think that adds to it as well and then I'm just spritzing it with some water not too much um, and then heat setting it again That's now dry and heat set and I'm just going to set it on top of the corrugated card tag. Just using um, some of the polish first though over this um, craft card. As I pointed out earlier it doesn't really come up with a, a deep tone but in the right light it will catch the sparkle. Again I'm just adding that to my acetate. And I'm just going to use the brush to stipple over the tag. I just think it adds a bit of interest to the background. So when you turn to the right light, it will, like I said, it will catch it, give you a bit of a shimmer. And these two colours just, I think, are perfect for autumn actually. So I was quite chuffed that I received those two. <laughs> there you see the sparkle there. And obviously I'm going to add the other colour as well. And as I mentioned at the beginning, these are quite small pots, so they're just 7 grams. But to be honest, I am finding that um, a little goes a long way. So even with um, all the stippling I've done on both the backgrounds, plus I did a lot of stamping with it, which you'll see in a moment, actually haven't used that much so yeah they do go a long way I found a wooden um, sentiment or word in my stash and I'm going to see what the polished looks like on these and I'm going to use the sunset orange first of all I'm just going to use my finger to do it I think that's probably going to be the easiest way Again, that doesn't really show up. Um, you can see where it's collecting in the gaps. It's a bit. There's a bit of colour around the edges. Um, but other than that, it's not really, not really picking it up. So it is more of a um, to add a glitter or a shine. I think rather than any sort of colour. So. Um, which is fine although it does kind of limit it a bit um, I'm not sure if you can actually see but on the edges it is catching some of the colour um, I'll just try the purple because it might come out different colour but or different <laughs> as in you might be able to see it better I should say Use a clean ish finger. <laughs> no, that's not really picking anything up. So, um, what I'll do is I'll paint it first and then I will apply some of the polish to it. So, that makes me think that really it's only going to work on um, darker materials. I'll just brush that off my fingers before I touch something else and add sparkle to something that I don't need it on. <laughs> uh, yeah, because like I say, it's obviously worked really well on the black. Um, and that was good with the stencils, I thought. That has worked really well. It was nicely. Um, didn't work so well as a paste, but then it isn't a paste. So that was just an experiment. Um, obviously worked well with the stamps. And I have cut a few of these out now so I can add them to my tag and obviously it has added a bit of uh, shine and sparkle to this base um, yeah it's just not obvious I mean like that you can't really see it at all but when it catches the light it is very pretty and obviously on here it is more obvious we've filled it and um, 
use the bigger image and it's on the black card so that's helped and I said I am impressed with the stamping um, and it does work really well on the black card but having said that it's a bit then of a one trick pony um, yeah it does add some shimmer to other things so there is always that I just don't think there's enough versatility in them for me to really want more than one or two pots um, yeah but I'm now going to build my um, card up um, once I've painted this joy sentiment I'm going to try something slightly different so I've put some um, acrylic paint onto my piece of acetate and I'm going to add some of the because it's an orange colour I'm going to add some of the sunset orange um, and just see what it's like to work with in the paint don't think I'll actually need that much and I'm going to use my palette knife just to mix it in now this is a um, translucent paint so you'll be able to see through it um, I just thought that might work better um, with the sparkles you can see the sparkle through it but I don't know it might not even have any impact at all so I'm just stippling this on with my bouncy brush as I call it because it's I do a lot of this type of thing with it because like I say it's not it's not a nice or precious brush but it's perfect for for adding colour in this way. Don't really need to do the back but I've got some paint to use up so hey ho and I'll just add some more onto the front. Okay, so actually there's quite a good shine in that. Now I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but I hope that's picking up because that's actually, I quite like that. It's got an all, all over like shimmer, which is really nice. And I'll be adding that to my tag. Okay, um, yeah, next I'm going to um, sort out my leaves in regards to how I'm going to lay them out. So I'll just clear some of this space now I did um, sort out a, a layout that I like so what I've done is I've taken a picture on my phone and I just find that's really helpful because if you have a play around and you like something it's always worth taking a picture um, when you've got to do something where you're taking it off and sticking it back down so I just did a little tip well that's my tag finished um, I've got these really shiny leaves there and they do look very autumnal. I'm really pleased with how those have come out. And you can see the shine and sheen on the corrugated card there. Not coming out so well on the other tag there. But if you catch a glimpse of it on the word joy but certainly those leaves are just the best thing and they are the star of the show anyway so it has worked really well for those they look almost metal and metallic-y so yeah I'm, I'm quite pleased with that I've added just some string to the top just to keep the sort of rustic feel thank you so much for watching I've had a lot of fun making this tag and I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of the things you can do with the cosmic shimmer April blaze polish mm -hmm.